Hey, welcome everyone. Hey, this is a podcast that explores various aspects of addiction, potentially focusing on personal stories of recovery, scientific perspective, societal impacts, and related topics. This, off, this podcast often features discussions with experts, individuals in recovery, therapists, and advocates to offer insights and support to those affected by addiction or seeking more information about it. Welcome to another episode of The Other Side of Addiction. I am your host, Al Richards, and today with our two lovely guests, Krista and Jess, we are going to be talking about rewiring the brain. I really love this topic, ladies. What is so important about rewiring the brain? Well, I'm I'm Krista, and my background is actually, I'm a mental health professional. I didn't work specifically with addictions, but I do feel that it goes hand in hand, you know, with trauma, with trapped emotions and our brains tend to just get in these patterns where, Mm -hmm. where we get stuck. And a lot of it honestly has to do with the subconscious mind. So if your subconscious mind is, you know, say it could have been something somebody said to you when you were like four uh, say a parent or something, those things can have a huge impact without us really knowing it necessarily. And those, those tapes kind of tend to replay in your brain and, you know, they, they can kind of pile up on, on each other. And even, you know, with, with trauma, parts of the brain can actually go offline. And, um, and that's when sometimes we'll see people reaching out to different addictions uh, just to cope with triggers, to cope with what's going on. And so for myself, because I do have that, uh, trauma background, I had a complex trauma myself. I, I could make progress to a point, but it wasn't until I actually started rewiring the brain with, where, where I started to get past some of those barriers of, you know, those things I had felt about myself or other people had said about me. That's when I really started noticing progress was with that rewiring of the brain with triggering um, some of those, some of those places like back online in my brain that had been affected. So, you know, our brain, our brain can go two ways It you know, it can, uh, it can go in the dis-ease part, or we could actually start to rewire it to the other side of that. So that's the cool part about our brains. It's it's an amazing tool. Jess, what what do you have to say about it? Yeah, I love I loved everything that Krista said. So I am certified in the emotion code and the body code. And a lot of times with the clients that we see is there are so many different trapped emotions or negative emotions that get stuck in our body. Like Chris was talking about trauma, um, these negative emotions are stored, even if Exactly what exactly as she was saying, if someone told us something when we were four years old, we don't understand the impact that has on us um, until we are adults. And or maybe when we have kids and we are like saying some things that we were repeated to us that maybe a grandma told us or grandpa told us, um, it's probably because there might be that energy that might be still stuck in your body that you just haven't processed or released or um, gotten rid of. And we have so many tools nowadays that um, maybe our parents didn't know about, or maybe they weren't really a a big thing um, back, back when we were kids. But I love being able now to help my kids um, from rewiring my brain from things, because I also had the complex um, PTSD. And so now with my kids, I can make that decision to parent differently or to um, not overreact so quickly or something like that. Um, so yeah, we love, we love using all these different tools to be able to help us and our clients and even our kids to help them, um, with even positive affirmations. There's so many things like that, that are help kids even nowadays to be able to believe in themselves and start telling themselves those positive things too. Yes, absolutely. You know, and there are so many, so many new tools out there that has been actually scientific Mm -hmm. proven. I mean, what you two ladies do, I mean, this isn't stuff you guys just came up with, right? Somebody <laughs> has done the research on this and they have done their studies. And it's it's so great to know that there's all these different tools out there that can help individuals. Because 
talking about being traumatized as a kid or, or you know, I, I read a story once where uh, a mother told her six-year-old daughter to stop singing because she sounded like crap. She never sang another song the rest of her life until way into her adulthood. And someone started talking to her about singing. She goes, yeah, I stopped singing because my mom told me I couldn't sing. And she goes, well, that's BS. So she actually got this girl to sing. And this woman had an amazing voice. And our subconscious, as you guys know, it's there to protect us, right? It, it stores this. It doesn't know what's real, what's fake. It just knows, oh, my gosh, I cannot sing because I was told I cannot sing. Right. However, yeah. we have the capability of rewiring it, just like you guys are saying. We can unplug those bad neurons and plug new ones in. <clears throat> and as we constantly use it, it gets stronger and stronger and stronger, our subconscious mind is still going to tell us or store that bad crap. However, we've got stronger neurons now to go, you know what? Yeah, I go back to sleep because I don't believe you anymore. Correct? Correct. Yeah. One Another thing too, the, to piggyback off what you were saying is there are so many times that we will, that subconsciously our body and our minds look for um, reasons for that to be what we think is true. Right. So it's like, if someone told you something, you will start actually creating, recreating situations in your life, attracting those same, maybe toxic, toxic people into your life. Um, because part of your subconscious brain thinks like that, that is true for you. And so when you start to rewire your brain, you can, you can start making conscious, better decisions for you, for yourself, for your family, for your kids, that we don't, we don't have to stay stuck in these patterns. Absolutely. And that's not, that's not blaming anyone for being in those situations, but a lot of people are just unaware, right? They're unaware of why they're making certain decisions. They don't know how to get out of it because nobody has shown them. Nobody's given them the tools. So yeah, it's not, it's not like, you know, blaming anybody for those decisions, but like showing them the way out, like just said. Yeah. yeah. And and really a lot of these ways to get out of that is so simple, but like you guys are saying, we're stuck. We're so stuck in that pattern. You know, I, I battled a very bad temper. I had a very bad anger issue as a teenager into my early adulthood. And it's what I grew up around. If things didn't go your way, you got mad. You kicked mm -hmm. things, you threw things, you punched things. If someone got in your face, you either hit them or punched a wall or you did something really crazy. I mean, I don't know how many times I was at the emergency center getting wood taken out of my hands or glass because I was punching something. And then I went to therapy for six months to learn how to control this temper that I had because it was scaring me. And it was so simple what my therapist showed me that day. She got me angry on purpose. And she asked, flipped over a paper. I had a round circle with black and white. Black was the anger. White was calm. And she's like, which direction are you going? And I'm slamming my finger down on the desk. And I'm like, I'm here. I'm here. And Why are you doing this? And I'm pissed. And, and she goes, well, why didn't you choose this? And it stopped me right in my tracks. And I went, what? What do you mean? She goes, well, how come if you don't like feeling this way, how come you stay over here? Why don't you go this way? Something that simple, all those years I struggled with. And I it took someone to show that to me. And that's what you guys are doing for people that you work with. That is Correct. amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. When you were saying that, it made me think of, there's like that phrase of like, which, you know, there's like the, the black, not the black and white inside of us for like the yin and the yang inside of us. Like we, but we all have, you know, a little bit of both in us. And it's like, I, I can't remember the phrase of it, but it's like, which one wins? Like which one is going to end in that person? It's like, whatever that person feeds. So like it's whatever, yeah, whatever step, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Whatever like little steps and it can be baby steps. Cause I know that to totally change it, it is a little bit overwhelming for some people. Maybe they think there's no way around it. So I, I always like to just encourage baby steps, just make one little 1% difference today, 1% of a difference, a change, um, today that is going to, it will over time, it's going to multiply and you know, you can, you can totally change your life around, but I love the analogy that you gave. That's yeah. yeah. Yeah, black and white, like which one, which one are you going to choose? I love that. 
Yeah, it's that. Well, if, you, if you'd been modeled that behavior, then you wouldn't have known there was a different choice. Exactly. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, and and with what you guys, so when I met you two ladies, and and I just want to say thank you to my lovely friend Jessica. She's the one that introduced me to you guys. Yes. We happened to see you guys at the uh, Be Healthy Utah ex Expo, I guess you call it. So thank you, Jess. I love you, and I appreciate you for doing that. You know. I think it was Jess actually did this little test on me where it was using my voice and this, it creates the sound, right? That kind of now explain a little bit more to our listeners, how this works. Cause I have listened to that. I, I don't get a chance always to use my headphones, but I do remember you saying it works even without it. It does work better with headphones. So I play it while I'm doing all my, all my other stuff just that sound can help rewire you, correct? Yeah, yeah. Inside of that, um, those frequencies that you're listening to, yes, there's little th little frequencies in there. They're going to help you to start rewiring your brain. But how it works, though, is um, you. So we have we have this technology. It's just an app um, that you're able to use from anywhere, from your computer, from your phone to your tablet. Um, but you can talking to it for just for 10 seconds. And in that 10 seconds, it's actually recording about 8,000 frequencies within your voice. So um, voice is so the everything inside your voice, um, everything is energy. Um, even water has memory and energy into it. And so when you're talking into it, it's doing a little um, mini like vital scan too. So it picks up like um, any kind of mold, bacteria, viruses, fungus, parasites. But um, the really cool part is it is looking over your biggest emotions, the, the three that are the most overused and then the most suppressed one. And, and so, and these can be from, um, these can be inherited emotions um, that you've picked up from grandma, grandpa, mom, or dad. You could have absorbed these or they could be your, your very own. But you get what we gave, what we sent you was your customized frequencies to listen to. And it's helping you rewiring the brain, helping you to maybe lower it, whatever might be going on, lower anxiety, lower your pain, um, things like that. And the end goal is just to be able to keep your emotions level so that we aren't overreacting or we aren't um getting stuck in those repetitive thoughts or sinking into de depression. So it helps with so many different things, but that's one of our favorite parts about it is um, what it's called the inner voice scan. Yeah. I love it. And the part that helps to also rewire the brain is it has binaural beats and these are custom for you because it was your voice that it was measuring and analyzing. And so the reason it works better with headphones is when you're listening with headphones, you're getting a little, a little different frequency in each ear and you can't tell because you're not hearing the frequencies. You're just hearing music. But what that does is it forces your brain to actually make new neural pathways because it can't tell the difference and it has to determine now what frequency is this? And that's what makes new neural pathways in your brain. So I've got a bunch of fireworks going on inside there when I've got my headphones on. Yes, <laughs> or something like it. that. <laughs> yeah. I wonder I've had the urge of having cotton candy and hot dogs. And <laughs> <laughs> I, maybe it's it's tapping on some of the, not all of our subconscious memories are bad. We have good ones too. And maybe it's, yeah. you know, tapping some of those. But the, the goal is to balance those emotions. Because if, you know, if we suppress emotions, they're going to show up in our body. They're going to show up in our behaviors or actions. And if we're overusing them, that's, that's probably going to be anxiety or, you know, where the, the goal of those frequencies is to bring it back to a more balanced state. And then even for me, it, it, you know, flipped on those parts of my brain that weren't functioning correctly in a fairly short period of time compared to all the therapy and all the other tools I had tried. This was an accelerated way of doing that. So I was very excited. You know, and I love that Jess said too about working with the kids. You know, I I shared a video with a client that I had yesterday. I don't know if you guys have seen the YouTube one about the backward bicycle. 
I haven't seen that one yet. Pull, yeah, I haven't. pull it up, check it out. It, it's about seven to eight minutes long. Some engineers, some welders designed a bike that, you know, if you go to turn left, the bike would actually go right. Okay. And if you went to go right, the bike would go left. So this guy, they call him down and he goes to try it and he couldn't ride it. And he was doing everything to do his best to outsmart this bike. It took him eight months, eight months to learn how to finally ride this bike to get the concept. So eight months of rewiring his brain mm -hmm. to get this thing. His four-year-old son, five-year-old son, he has a bike made for him. In two weeks, his son nails it. Uh because of the neuroplasticity right inside the brain mm -hmm. it's mm -hmm. i guess it's stronger they have more of it he picked it up now his dad has been riding a bike for many many years he is just learning wow. then he went to go ride a normal bike he couldn't ride it oh he could wow. not ride the bike it took him a little bit for his brain to start figuring it out and he finally uh -huh. got, and he had people watching. He was like in Amsterdam. And all these people are laughing at him because he couldn't, here's this, he goes, this dumb Yankee couldn't even ride a bike. And he uh -huh. couldn't. And it took him a little time. And finally he's like, it's coming, it's coming. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So I guess, I guess where I'm getting at is teaching our younger generation these tools is going to help them in their adulthood because – we get stuck in these old patterns way, way too long, as you guys know, and it hurts our, our whole life. And Krista, you, you said something about how if we stay stuck in those areas, that does create other health issues for us. I mean, it, it can yeah. cause diabetes, it can cause strokes, heart attacks, it can cause cancer because our bodies are not meant to hold all that stuff in. Correct. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So when you're listening, just so you know, when you're listening to those frequencies, it's actually releasing um, and removing tra trapped trauma, negative, the negative emotions that were coming up on your scan, um, things like that. So it's actually, you are releasing or detoxing and removing. So it's kind of doing the work for you. Some people like to do it when they're sleeping. Um, cause your subconscious brain is still awake. It's still, you know, dreaming and thinking. So we're, you can rewire your brain while you're sleeping even. So yeah, it's really powerful. It's kind of, when she says that it's doing it like layer on layer, like an onion. So it, it'll start with certain layers and it, it does actually start releasing those trapped emotions. Yeah. And, and it starts building them to get stronger each time. Correct. Yeah, Jess and I, we we actually have very similar personalities, <laughs> so, we, so we get along well. And we both used to be so shy. Like before we started doing this, we did, we did not want to be talking in front of people. We were like introverted. And now both of us are out like speaking, doing conferences. And it, it was a matter of, you know, using the stuff, like rewiring the brain and, and feeling differently at just yeah, both of us have had that experience where we almost are like, we're still the same person, same personality, but now, now we're not afraid to express it. We're not afraid to, you know, say who we are and say what we think. And, and I think maybe, you know, it, it comes back to in childhood, if you were told like, don't think that, don't say that those, those things keep us from, you know, getting to that person that we really are or that are expressing, we're too afraid of what other people think to to say what we want to say so that's been a really cool benefit for both of us i would say <laughs> yeah i would absolutely. think that would help anyone yeah 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 there's there's so many so many different areas that the these frequencies and this technology can help um but back to the rewiring of the brain so it really is our technology is like a biofeedback technology and there is a specific section that is like neuroaerobic. So it's exactly what Chris was talking about. Your left, your left, when you, when you wear the headphones, there's, um, it's helping the left and the right brain, but there's even specific, um, frequencies that will start to do that. So it's literally reprogramming. That one is great for anyone who has like ADHD, 
depression, addictions. It's one of my favorite ones to do. It's just a three minute audio that I listen to. And it's just boom, 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 like rewiring the left and the right brain. Wow. How do you guys feel about someone using that for even like meditation? Because I, I listen to a 10 minute um, brain entrainment type frequency when I, when I meditate. And I, I only have about 10 minutes in the morning that I have cut out of my morning to fit that in. And I don't know, for me, it, I think it really helps me get my day going. Cause you know, I, I have my morning, morning rituals that I do right before I head to the gym and it just seems like it really sets my day going. So do you guys feel like using those frequencies helps? I can take I can take that one. Okay. So, um, before I started doing this, I could not meditate. I couldn't either. I was going to say yeah. the, the reason I, the reason being is I think, you know, sometimes like in order to avoid what we don't want to think about, you keep so busy. And yes. so, so Jess and I both had complex trauma with complex trauma. You, uh, some people can have really, they can struggle to sit and meditate because then your brain is things are coming in, you're not being busy. So I honestly, this was my med. This was my introduction to meditation because anytime a therapist or someone else like suggested it, I could not for the life of me sit still and actually do it until I listened to this music. And now it, you know, it, it totally can be, and it can be a gateway to help, help train you how to be still. Cause I just could not be still want to be I doing something all the time. I don't think, <laughs> I was going to say literally the exact same thing. And we haven't ever talked about this before. Uh, <laughs> same thing. Like my repetitive, the repetitive thoughts would come in or my to-do list. Like I could not shut them off. It was impossible. Or sometimes if people can close your eyes. Some people can like actually see like if someone's like, close your eyes and like, look, look at a ball. Like, can you see a purple ball? I couldn't. I could uh -uh. not. I couldn't either. And after, and it, it doesn't take too long that you're listening to these frequencies that are starting to re- reframe and reprogram your brain that you're able to to meditate and to um start visualizing things and yeah it's it's just a, incredible but this was just the journey the beginning of that journey for me um mm -hmm. just listening to these frequencies so something just popped up listening to you ladies i've i've got some other two other lovely lady friends who was actually there at the expo as well Caitlin and Rachel, and they do breath work and they do sound bathing and, and they combine the two. And, and I really love it because after like running a marathon, they do this sound bathing and it just really kind of soothes. And I experience some really amazing stuff. And I usually go to their event every month. I'm wondering if it would be cool to connect you guys with them because I'm wondering if what you guys are talking about would be a fit for their breath work. Cause they play music with the, with the headphones and you've got your eye covers on, you know, so everything's nice and peaceful and, and they play some decent music and some of it, they've got, um, uh, it's just music and others. There's like a chorus and stuff behind it. I just wonder if that would be an extra fit because while you're sitting there breathing, I mean, you're gasping for air constantly for almost an hour, bringing yeah. a lot of oxygen into your body, into your brain, if that would give it an extra boost. Yes. Okay. I, I love that question because I've just recently started getting into breath work. I've never experienced it for, before until about maybe six months ago um, is when I started doing it. It is incredible. You can have such an amazing experience that you're just like, this is like out of body experience. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's so amazing just by breathing. Cause we, a lot of times don't actually take those full breaths. It doesn't act. We do a lot of like, I think it's called like surface breathing or something where it's just a lot mm -hmm. actually like deep, like deeply breathing into all of our organs and things like that. And what I started doing, cause I, I was actually, I did listen to my inner voice during part of it at one time, but then another time at the very end of our session, you are in such a heightened place that is just, you're like really connected. Like you are in, I feel like you're really in your body. Your, your spirit is in your body. You're fully grounded. Um, I listened to, I recorded an inner voice at the end of a session one time 
And then whenever I go back and re-listen to those frequencies, it almost puts me in that exact same state of mind. It's really wow. cool. Mm. So it's almost like, I mean, I still think it's a very beneficial, you don't have to, I'm not saying bypass that, but on days where I'm like, I don't have time to do that full, full breath work. I don't have a full hour, 45 minutes. Then I love listening to that. If I really need to get back into my body, really ground, I love listening to that specific one that I recorded that one day. But yeah, it's, that's amazing. This would be really cool for them to do either while, either while they're doing it. Um, but it's, it's really amazing to record your voice, right? When you are finished, because you are, you're breathing differently. You're talking differently. Um, it is a totally different experience, whether depend like different than if you're like in the middle of traffic or running out, running errands, right? Like you're kind of in a different mindset. And that just reminded me of have um were you at Be Healthy Utah last year? I wasn't. No, this is the first time that I've actually gone. And and I wish I because I didn't know Jess. I've only met Jess like I don't know, six months okay. ago, seven months ago. But yeah. I don't know if you've ever seen it's called the Theta Bed. So our CEO actually came up with the Theta Bed and it spins. You get inside of it and you mm. listen to the inner voice while you're in there. So what it so what it does is it kind of automatically puts you in your brain in that theta state, and then you're doing the frequencies on top of that. So yes, anything, anything like that, you can, you can use it to enhance because being in the theta bed just enhances the effects of it. So it's like boosting the effects of it. So yeah, that would work for breath work as well. So I'm, I'm going to, I wrote a note here. I'm going to be sure to connect you two ladies with, with Caitlin and Rachel. Hey. You you guys will fall in love with these two ladies. They are, they've, they're full of energy like you two. They're <laughs> amazing gals. And uh, just, they have a lot of love and care for individuals. And these two gals just met at a PTA meeting for their kids. Oh. Cool. And now they're business partners. I mean, it's such a great oh, story. Awesome. Such an amazing story. And how you just said, um, Krista, with it can be used in different combinations. I, I went to a wellness center, Bountiful, mm -hmm. and they did this recording. First time that it had ever been done on me. Second time was with you guys at the expo. And they had me put on this recording and went into a quantum room with the TVs, you know, that's sending out all this energy and everything. Now, cool. my friend, um, my dear friend who, who has passed, uh, Janie Marvin, she kind of she had a lot of stuff going on here with that with the quantum and and had a place in St. George for a little while at the old hotel. She was trying to get it going and I don't know the city was giving her a run for her money, I guess. But that was really cool to have that headset on of listening to a recording that was done from my voice and then also sit in that quantum room. Oh, and just yeah. kind of chill. And let it do its stuff. There was other people there that there was a lady in there sitting in there knitting. I mean, seriously, she was <laughs> knitting while she's in the quarter room. Another girl was on her phone. I just kind of sat there and listened to it and just chilled and relaxed. There's so many things what you guys do, it could be used for. I mean, my my light bulbs are just going off like crazy. Yeah, there's there's even a couple of things we haven't mentioned yet. You know, there we do have particular frequencies for addiction. So we can actually, you know, target, we can um, send someone those addiction frequencies. So not just the music, but, but actually from the app, we can broadcast those and send those to support someone in, in whatever kind of addiction to try and just get out of those patterns as well. And then Jess, did you want to talk about the, the mind sync as well? Yeah. So there's, there's another section, the mind sync, and these affirmations are amazing. Chris has been doing them with her daughter. I've been doing it with my boys and you can record them in your voice. I heard a study once say that like, um, hearing your mom's voice is like just one of the most calming, um, things that you can hear. And so when your mom, um, or yourself is recording these mind sync, um, meditation. So it's just basically affirmations, but it's, there are frequencies behind the affirmations and it's purposely offset, meaning like you, it doesn't sound quite like how I'd be talking right now. There is a little bit different, um, like the binaural, 
as yeah. well. No. Uses, and it's helping like the left and the right brain again, but you're, you're connecting it like in the middle of your head where everything is just kind of starting to totally reframe. Um, so it's starting to rewire you entirely to start believing like the things that you are hearing or the things that your, your mom is saying, or that, um, that you say. And what was so cool the other day. So my, one of my kids, he struggles with like reading and he, he struggles in school and he came home and I've been having, he's only done this. Maybe, um, we really started listening to it the last couple of weeks. And he said, he's listened to it about five or six times. And he came home the other day and said, mom, he said, I am actually, he's like, I, I don't know. I don't know why, but just listening to those things that you made me, He's like, I feel smarter and I'm like a lot more confident and he's 13. So he's at that age where you start to kind of, you know, it's that weird phase of life. And I thought that was so cool for him to come home and just be like, can you, can you like make me another one? I want to, I want to, I want to listen to another one this time. It was just such a fun <laughs> thing for him to, for a third, for a teenager, or like what teenager cool. is asking for like more of this kind of stuff. But I've said, I've done affirmations with my kids for years now, like on our way to school, we would repeat them in the car back and forth. I would say things and then I would let them say some of their own that they were feeling. But I'm telling you that there's such a difference when you're listening to these ones or as a separate one, a separate one when there's the frequencies, the binaural um, frequencies behind it that are just amplifying um, it. And he's never, I've never heard him say that before where he's like, yeah, like I feel a lot more confident mom and I feel smarter. I'm like, that's so cool. <laughs> so what we do is we, we make them, you can use whatever affirmations you want. And then, you know, if it's a kid, you can use the mom's voice or the person can use their own voice. So, you know, you want to make one for, a particular addiction you want to make one for weight loss like you can put whatever affirmations in and then we have choices of the music and so actually what this does and what makes it different from other things is you know affirmations are great and they work but a lot of times our brain will try to fight them if you're just saying them out loud mm -hmm. and your brain will be like no nah, i don't know and you know but this where it has your your two sides of your brain engaged your brain can't fight it and so that's why I think within just even a few times of listening, your son was like, I can feel the difference because his brain yeah. wasn't able to fight those affirmations. Yeah. I was using both sides of those brain. So, you know, and having, having that app, and I'm glad that you brought up the addiction part because a lot of people who are just starting their journey in recovery, they have so many triggers that they're battling, just yeah. not fighting the demons and, and whatever else is going inside their head. They're fighting those triggers because my ex-wife, we could we could go somewhere down the road and it would bring a flash. And she's like, oh, my gosh, this area is really triggering me like crazy. And even those us on the other side, I would have triggers. Right. I mean, if I saw her acting a certain way, it would just I mean, immediately my brain brought that trigger in to where I'm thinking she's drinking or that feeling that she's drinking was was back again. To have a tool like that, that is so right here at your fingertips, 24 seven down there. Yep. Go, oh my gosh, I'm battling something. I can't get a hold of my sponsor or someone to talk to. Press an app. Here I go. I got some, I got something that's helping me. Exactly. Yeah. Just it's like the react, the, um, it's instantaneously too. It's so like, you will start to feel the differences right away you don't have it's not something you have to wait um it's and with krista and i um i don't know how often krista used to get triggered but i used to get triggered honestly on like a daily basis oh yeah like it was it was really bad and now it's like once a year maybe once a year which i'm i'm still just like what like that's it's just so amazingly um different but yeah you'll have better relationships um with others, your family members and yourself. And it's, it's so cool when you can start to empower yourself and know that you, you, you have everything that you need to heal really within you. It's just, we need to start believing in ourselves and just how powerful we really are and how powerful our mind is. The things that we tell ourselves, um, positive or negative really have such a huge effect. And have you ever had those days where like you stub your toe 
and then you like almost get in a car accident and then you run around <laughs> yeah. and it's like you keep going it's both ways like you can either your day can either go down a spiral this way or it can go the other way and so whenever I start to see my day going the other spiral it's like oh yeah I've got something right here let me just listen to my frequency or send myself this frequency um that will start to just my it it totally changes my day yeah hey just speaking of triggers do you remember i we were just talking recently and you were saying something about one of your a hormone doctor like tested and what do you remember this conversation we were having about cptsd and, and oh yes, yes yes yeah yeah okay okay you tell it <laughs> i forgot about that yeah, yeah so i i let's rewind like five, like five years ago, I fall on CPTSD. That's when I was triggered every day, all the time. Um, I was even on like every medication and the highest legal dosage of it. So I was taking like four different things for it. Um, but I was really numbed out. Like I wasn't the best mom in that place. I was just kind of there, like just floating. Like that's kind of, I wasn't enjoying life. Um, that spark in me wasn't there. Um, but flash forward to, I got introduced to the frequencies three years ago and that's when everything, it was my literally missing puzzle piece. I had tried everything before then, um, to try and help reduce my anxiety. I didn't necessarily want to be on all that medication. I could, I was kind of seeing like the side effects that it had and I didn't love that. And so I was able to cut it all cold turkey once I started these frequencies, which I don't recommend you doing, like make sure you talk to your doctor. <laughs> but for me, I just, I, I, and, and also at that time, I, I had tried quitting the, that medication previously. And, um, I was having withdrawals where I like could tell that I like, it was something inside my head, it was like inside my head where I just needed, I needed it. I couldn't quite, I, it was something like, I, I literally part of my brain that was like, oh, I need this. And so I couldn't stop it. But one, I couldn't believe that I could just stop cold turkey once I started these frequencies and I didn't have any withdrawing withdrawals. Um, but flash forward to, I um, during that time when I started the frequencies, I had went to a hormone doctor they, they were checking all my hormones, um, to kind of see, um, where, you know, where I was at with all the hormones. And he told me that, cause I wrote in the paper, they asked like, do you have PTSD, CPSD? Do you have anxiety? So I said, yes, I do. Because I mean, I still feel like even if it comes up every few months, once a year, I still feel like it is, you know, part of my journey. And he, when he was looking at my report, he was like, why did you say you have PTSD? And I was like, well, I, I do like, I was on all this medication and all these things. And he said there, he's like, he showed me my results of somebody whose blood scan, um, or blood panels, whatever, um, what it looked like when they have PTSD. And he showed me mine. And mine was so mellow and calm in that area. He was like, you, he's like, you might've had it, but you do not have it anymore. And I think I've been taking that apart. I think a lot of us, we almost hold that as our identity. Like, yeah, I, I am, you know, I am, I have anxiety. I have this, I have that. But I think it was a really cool for me to be like, oh, I guess I don't have it anymore. Like, I thought it was something you would carry for the rest of your life. It would be like a part of you. But I was like, that's so amazing that- it's, it's gone. You can't, it's not even, it's not even a part of me anymore. That is so cool. What a great story. Yeah. Thank you for yeah. bringing that up, Chris. And thank you for sharing it. Just that is. Amazing. Yeah. I just remember that. I was like, Oh, she has to tell the story. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and you said something too, Krista earlier about, well, going off of what Jess was saying, how with, with the sound, it helps bring the both sides of the brain together, right. To mm -hmm. where they're not fighting against each other. And that was so cool to hear because I took a class three years ago, four years ago, actually probably four years ago. It was before I was doing my show and the coach gave us homework and he gave us seven affirmations. And he says, your homework is memorize these seven, look in the mirror every single day, at least two or three times a day, look at yourself eye to eye and say these affirmations. And then when we come back to the class next week, I want people to share. 
me, my ego kicked in and I said, oh, hell yeah, I got this, man. I've been working on this for a long time. Piece of freaking cake. <laughs> and I'm someone that does not like homework. Even if it's to go home and yeah. color a picture, I don't like homework, period. Yeah. <laughs> and so I, I go home and I do this. And, and I've said this on the show a couple of times. It took me two or three days to realize I didn't have it. And how I found out I realized every time I went to go say it, I looked away and then I'd come back and then I'd look away and then I'd come back. I could not look at myself in the eye and say these things that told uh -huh. me I didn't believe what I was saying. I, it, w it wasn't resonating with me because if it did, I would have looked at myself in the eye. Instead, yeah. I was looking away because I didn't believe I had this in me and that Oh my gosh, that opened up my eyes so much. And I shared that in the class. As a matter of fact, I got even emotional when I shared it in the class because I'm going, here's my ego kicking in going, yeah, this is a piece of cake. Yeah, I had melted ice cream, basically, is what I had. <laughs> and it took me some time to get to where, I mean, I literally got to where I was keeping my eyes wide open as possible and staring at me to where they were drying out because I wanted to make sure that I could say it and believe it until it started coming naturally to me. Yeah. That's an awesome story. So that is amazing. Your guys' app in this this frequency can help with someone. That could have helped me with that, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The I mean, and even even like withdrawals, there's there's a frequency for withdrawals. I almost didn't remember that, but I just did. Yeah, there's you know, physical things that come up, there's, there's frequencies for that. You know, it, it really is. We've used it in the middle of the night for emergencies rather than go to the emergency room. It has been a lifesaver. And in the past I had to, when I started out, I had to hire a bunch of different people to do a lot of the things that this is doing where now it's in the palm of our hands where we can do it at home. Just like you said, at will. Yeah. Um, how, so yeah, how, it breaks my heart when I hear, you know, when I hear people struggling and it's, it's like, oh, I, I wish you would have had this and at this time. And that's why we want to share it with people. We know it works. We are testimonials of how, how well it works. And so we're big believers. Yeah. Well, yeah. when you do it on yourself and you're seeing the difference and your child is trying it and he's seeing the difference, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. How could, how could you not believe in it? And how powerful would this be? And I don't know if you guys have thought of this. You you probably have. How powerful would this be for someone, for a detox center, for someone who's going yeah. into detox to be able to have a tool to go while you're here, let's record your voice. Wow. Here's this app. Yes. Because, I mean, this is a raw show. I'm just going to say it. Detox is a bitch for a lot of people. Yeah. The majority yeah. of people to be able to have something to help them kind of soothe, mm -hmm. you know, the struggle that they're going through to make it maybe a little bit easier for them. Yeah, for sure. Everyone has different detoxing symptoms while they're detoxing. Like it could be mm -hmm. something just like a constant headache. It could be something like they are just, you know, sick to their stomach. They could be having some like withdrawals while they're trying to detox from something. But we have some beautiful of frequencies that you, these ones you don't listen to, but you can actually um, put them right into water. Like you, you just yeah. put it in the water and it, it infuses it with those frequencies and then you can just drink it. So it can or help jewelry or, you know, we have little patches you can put them into as well. Yeah. Frequency patches that are these little discs that are there. Um, you just put right on your body um, if you're in pain, they're really great to put on any spots of pain, but yeah, if you're detoxing and, um, needing some assistance with that, there are amazing frequencies for detoxing a whole list of different things that it could help with. Wow. And this sounds like an amazing tool. It is. And if I, I was going to say, cause people, if they haven't heard of frequencies may not understand just the way it works is everything is energy from every cell in our body. Everything is energy, frequency, and vibration. And, and the way that this, 
you know, does your inner voice is it, it measures the vibrations in your voice. And they've, they've identified all these frequencies in our body. Your eyes are vibrating at a different frequency than your heart. And, you know, that's, that's how, if people that can't conceptualize what we're talking about, that is how it works is all through energy, frequency, and vibration. Yeah. yeah and and, if, oh, go ahead, Jess. If someone like say someone was at their best, best, best health, like the best possible help, there's nothing, um, in their, in their organs or anything like that. They catalog them as 170,000 blueprint frequencies are going on in your body. And so what happens is during, while you're using this is it's trying to help your body get back to that optimal state. So just like a, um, just like a piano gets out of tuned, like our body does too, whether it be from trauma, these negative emotions, um, maybe what's going on in the world, yes. whatever, you know, hoarding something, you know, <laughs> sicknesses, illnesses, so many different things. And it's just trying to help optimize your body back to its best optimal state. That is and that's, that's the piece I found was missing when we say it's a, it was a missing puzzle piece because, you know, if you just go to therapy and do talk therapy, it's, it can be great, but you're missing that energetic piece. You're missing that they, we don't, our doctors typically aren't looking at the body as energetic. Some of them are, but not all of them are there yet. And, and if you're leaving out that energetic piece, it's no wonder you're getting frustrated when you're doing all the physical stuff and the emotional stuff, but you're not getting where you want to be. And that's, that's what this does is it kind of brings all those together and fills in that gap and gets our body energetically where it needs to be as well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And going back to the like addictions, there are, there are so many amazing testimonials that we have had with people that it's helping with a list of them. Something simple with sugar addictions yeah. actually can help with. There's certain ones that can help with. We've had, we've had people saying that it's helped them to be able to stop drinking alcohol with any kind of alcohol addiction, um, drug addictions, pornography addictions. There's been some amazing um, families healing from just these vibrational frequencies. So yeah, it's, that's, that's the, that is the like goal is that everyone can, and it's just a, it's just on your phone. So it's something you have at your house. It's a tool you have with you to be able to help everyone inside of your home. You can send frequencies. One of my favorite things to do is send frequencies to, you can send them to a group of people at a time. So everyone in our household is when we're sleeping, we have frequencies going to help with love, gratitude, forgiveness. Yep. Um, inner peace, sleep well. So we are sleeping. I struggled with sleeping with having the, I don't know if it's the anxiety, the PTSD, the mix of all of it. I don't know the repetitive thoughts. I was up for hours just on my phone because I was like, I can't sleep. So I might as well be working or something. Um, and when these frequencies are going, we instantly are just, everyone is asleep. It's like when the kids go to sleep, I start, I can send them frequencies to help them. If, if any of them are struggling with sleeping, um, or the second I tell them, to, I, I remind them, go listen to those, that meditation. They fall asleep listening to it right away. <laughs> it's always like the best way falling asleep. Um, so yeah, there's so, there's so many things. It isn't just a one thing. I mean, yeah. we haven't even mentioned actually like 50, 60% of other things that this tool can help with, but this is these are just a few of our favorite things that we have been able to we are testimonies of that we see with ourselves and our our um, kids that they're just we're able to change so many different things with us well well and that's what got you ladies into it in the first place right it changed it changed exactly. your life so that's why you're going my gosh and and having the heart that you guys do to want to help other individuals and help them live a healthier life and a happier life i mean there's two amazing testimonials right there so yeah I know yeah. I, was, I was a single mom for about six years and I wish so badly I had this tool back then because I know it would have helped me heal a lot faster, a lot quicker. Um, I could have, you know, been more present and not just so not so anxious all the time and things like that. So I whenever I see others in those same situations, whatever that looks like, it's like we have something that can help you like <laughs> totally transform your life and really actually get you back to who you truly are. Because these situations in our life, they they're not really us. 
when we are, you know, we're, we're overreacting or we're getting triggered, like that's not really at the core who we are. Some things in our life, unfortunately, happened that caused, you know, those situations to happen. So really, it's just getting back to really who we are at our core. Yeah. And and just to piggyback off of that one, even those who have loved ones that are suffering from something, right? Because mm-hmm. we, we think we're still that same individual, but we're not. Because whether they're suffering from a cancer or from an addiction or whatever it may be, that energy going back to energy pulls us into that as well it starts literally like you see in the sci-fi movies where someone goes up and they open their mouth and they're sucking the life out of the other individual it it happens that way to us i mean that's how i my version of it it literally does happen we just can't see it to be able to have a tool because in the depth of my ex-wife's addiction i mean one of her therapists diagnosed me with some ptsd which I mm-hmm. did not realize I have. I knew my emotions were all over the place. I couldn't figure out why, because I didn't put two and two together. Okay. So bad to where I was on my way home from an event to go get my gun to commit suicide, because that's mm-hmm. where it was taking me. Mm-hmm. If I could have had a tool like this, or even known of a tool like this, my gosh, how many people it's even going to help on that other side to bring themselves back in right and that energy i mean if you guys if you listeners if you're thinking we're all white magic and woohoo stuff go get the book with dr emoto on the test that he did with the rice and the water and that's just by putting a name on a peachy dish right that's the energy everything admits energy this pan is emitting energy and when we have something to help boost it Right. I mean, if this pen had a laser in it to help boost my thing, I could use this pen for other ways. Right. Even in some of my coaching, I call it my magic wand. If this is my magic wand. So, yeah, to have this tool at your fingertips 24 seven. So with that being said, how do people find you? How can they get a hold of you to go? I want to know more about this. Yeah, we, we both have, um, we're both on Instagram. That might be the easiest way to find us. Um, my, my handle is at heal with Jess. Um, that is where you can find me. That's probably, probably the easiest way I'm thinking. Um, if anyone wants to contact me and Krista, she, she's also on Instagram. Krista, what's your handle? Well, for me, you can actually go to kristabigler.com. There's a little, um, there's a, introduction introductory session you can do if you want to try some of these frequencies uh and you know just fill out the little thing and then i will get notified and also my my handles are all on my website as well so just kristabigler.com you can reach out to either one of us we're happy to show you how it works and yeah just get you started so is is all your guys' handle on the emails that you sent me? I didn't notice. I was just too busy reading on your bios. Are they there? Because I have a tendency of writing things down wrong and my spelling is terrible. I, I want to make sure that when I put it on the caption, it's correct. So if it's not we there- We can send those over if they're if you need all our please, handles. Please yeah. do. I want to make sure that I have everything on there. So if someone is interested, they have it because I don't want to put it in there wrong. And then have someone go, oh, well, I tried it, but it didn't work. And yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, We'll we'll list those out. But it's something that is, you really need to try and experience it for yourself. Because hearing us, it's one of those things that you're like, I mean, it sounds awesome. That sounds incredible. But when you have your own testimonial and you have your own experience and you can see yourself changing, or it can be such a little subtle thing where you're, you think normally you would over, like overreact to something and then you catch yourself and you're like, huh, normally I would have, you know, reacted this way, or maybe that would have triggered me. Or maybe that, um, usually I get really angry when that happens. You'll start seeing just these tiny little things at the beginning that is kind of a snowball effect that starts, it starts, um, compiling and getting bigger and you start believing in yourself more and yeah so we yeah it's it's really great to try to try it out for yourself so contact either one of us and we would love to help show you how it can help transform you and your life and we can help answer any kind of any of your questions you have 
And we can kind of customize it too. So we'll see what the person is, you know, looking for and then, you know, point them to the right thing. And that's how we, that's how we help them figure out what they want to do. Well, and it's, again, it's a great tool. And I know you guys shared your experience with it. Now, you guys gave me a little test sample at the expo. So I'll throw out a testimonial. For me, it has helped. It seems like it helps keep me a little calmer. So I work all day. I do a full-time job. And then I'm coming home and I'm either doing estimates, invoices, or I'm working on my show or the Healing Utah Success Summit or this networking thing that we're doing. So I constantly, and sometimes I come in and I'm like so overwhelmed and I got to, I just got to go a thousand miles an hour. When I put on the frequency that you guys email to me, I don't know, I think it's within about maybe five, seven minutes or so. I start noticing myself just kind of chilling mm-hmm. and a little calmer to where I'm not feeling so anxious. Like I've got to get this stuff done and I do my best to go, okay, this is the most important. This is not, this can wait till tomorrow. If I don't get it done, this is what needs to be done right now, but it's still nice to be able to throw something on the computer because I'm listening to it while I'm on the computer. And if I can put my headphones in, there's other times I'm off doing other stuff. However, I still can hear it because I'm doing stuff where my computer is still there. And it it helps chill me. So that's at least my testimony of what I'm seeing where it's helping me is it's it's chilling right. me down. And and I have my mom gave me this radio thing that has um, white sound and some different things on it. And the white sound is used for the evening time. And oh. she gave it to me like six months ago, and I never took it out of the box. And about a month ago, I'm like, all right, I'm going to give this thing a shot. And I plugged it in and got it all set up. And I play it for 90 minutes when I go to bed. Wow. I don't ever know when it shuts off because I'm already asleep. Uh-huh. However, I'm noticing I'm sleeping so much better. I, I think my sleep is stronger, if that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Where Deeper. I'm not waking yeah. up throughout throughout the night, you know. So yeah. again, sound works. Yeah. It does for sure. That's amazing. So I got to respect your time. It is 2.35. Is there anything else you guys would like to share before we sign off? I think we covered a lot of it really well. <laughs> that we were, okay. it, was, it was a really good discussion. We're, we're grateful that you had us on and we we're able to share this with everybody else. Yes, well, and we would love would love to help your viewers with whatever whatever that looks like that they're going through, whether it's, Um, their child is going through something and they want to help their child out or they want to um, help themselves. Like if they're really stressed out and overwhelmed, that that mom is going to need some extra self-care and self-love at that time as well. So yeah, we we just, we have such big hearts. We love helping everyone. And we wish that we could just help everybody like with, because there's so many people that are struggling. um, Yeah. So many different things. We all have struggles, honestly, actually. Everyone in the world, you can't not have um, some kind of a struggle. So these will just help you to go through. My cat just jumped on up. That's okay. It happens before you. It it helps you cope, just like you were talking about. It helps you cope better with the circumstance, whatever it is. You got some big thing going on. It'll help your nervous system stay more regulated where it needs to be. And pets actually love the frequencies too. Like. It's so fun watching. They they love it. Wherever it's playing, they they tend to go to that room. They they're very smart. They can pick up on that, and they know there's something mm-hmm. something to it. So it's just another ha- having an animal like respond to it. Um, is such a cool thing. And even like our like I have a little little one who's three, and he's been we've been using these frequencies on him since he was actually a newborn. And so someone people sometimes are like, oh, well, that's just one of those um placebo placebo effects where you know it's just but really when when an infant you're seeing changes in an infant and a pet yeah i'm gonna take 10 seconds to tell why i originally started this it was because my little newborn had colic and we had tried all the things like to help him with it and his was very very severe and there 
Um, I saw someone posting about these frequencies that they help them with their vertigo night and day difference. And I thought, uh huh, I'm, I will try anything at this point. Let's see what these frequencies. And I didn't know what frequencies were. I'm like, let's see what this frequency, if there's a frequency that can help. And sure enough, there's one for colic and he, it went away that night and it never came back. And so to see, that's where I was like, okay, I don't know what this thing is, but I need it. <laughs> and help me. And it did. So. I'll have to let my daughter know. So my oldest daughter, Megan, is a uh, professional doula. She owns Tiny Blessings. Oh. And, you know, she's delivered, I don't know, probably 200 babies by now. And uh, I'll have to let her know about this, too, to see if she's... Oh, yeah. Great That's resource. Yes. Yeah. My gosh, ladies, again, thank you so much. I, I'm I'm so blessed that I got to meet both of you guys and, and you guys were phenomenal on the show, shared a lot of energy, love you guys' personality, really love what you guys do. It's it's all about helping other people. And, you know, if you guys ever come up with something else or there's anything you want to share again, feel free to reach out to me. That's what I love about doing this show. It's a free platform for individuals to come on, share information, you know, and I, I'm a true believer that if we're all out there helping one another, we'll all be successful and we'll also help so many more people. And, and in today's world, we all, you said it, just we all need some help, you know. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you again for your time. Well, thank, thank you. you. We're, we were honored. Yes. Absolutely. Well, guys, again, thank you to all our listeners, all our guests, past guests. Guys, you guys are the ones that are making this show a success. It's hard to believe that we've been going for over three years. Uh, heck, this episode is the 276th episode. We're quickly approaching 300. I remember how giddy I got when I hit 100 episodes. I can't imagine how I'm going to be so giddy at 300. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> guys, I love you. I appreciate y'all. And remember this, addiction is giving up everything for one thing and recovery is giving up one thing for everything. We're out.